Hello there. My name is Josue Diaz. I am a licensed architect in the state of California. In today's Archie Corner episode, you will see a small clip from a lecture that I had the privilege of presenting to the University of Little Rock, Arkansas. If you are interested in watching the full lecture, you can see it in my Patreon account. You can find the details to my Patreon account in the video description box. I hope you like it. Here I have a question for you guys. So normally, studs, you know, we, we place them and we place them normally at around, not around, we place them at 16 inches on center or 24 inches on center. There's very few exceptions. Sometimes we use 12 inches, but other than those three different spacing, we don't use any other spacing. Like we don't use 20 inches or we don't use 14 inches on center. We use 12, 16, and 24. Does anybody know why we use that spacing specifically? Why not, why not 20 inches on center? Any idea? Because you need more support by shortening the stud lengths. I guess like the bigger the building, then the uh, shorter the stud lengths. Actually, like that it. is one of the reasons we often reduce the spacing. So for example, that's one of the reasons we'll go from 24 inches to 16 inches or even 12 inches because we want support. Um, so support is a good reason why we have less spacing, but that is not the reason why we can't use 20 inches on center or, or, eight, you know, or 18 inches. It has to be 12, 16, um, 24. Something so simple, right? But have you ever, <laughs> have you ever thought about that? I'll give, you, I'll give you a clue if somebody wants to um, be brave enough. It has to do with the sheetrock or the jib board that we're using. Does that give you a clue? No? Okay. Is it so that, is it so that this, um, your material, like your sheetrock, lines up with the studs? So it's divisible by 16 or 24 inches. Exactly. That's exactly why. I mean, your, your sheetrock, you know, oftentimes we say sheetrock because that's the, the, the brand that's mostly known for providing jib board. It's like saying Kleenex, right? It's the difference between Kleenex and facial tissue. I mean, really, if there's a lot of companies that do facial tissue, but Kleenex is the most known brand, right? So I think it's funny sometimes you, you, as an architect, I, I use the word, jib board because that's the object that's what we're using but a lot of people come to like oh you mean sheetrock it's like well sheetrock is just a brand guys <laughs> uh, there's a lot of other brands there but yeah so they come in 48 inch width so they normally come in four by eights sometimes four by tens but the the normal size of a jib board panel is 48 inches by 96 inches. So you do those stud increments so that when you screw the jib board, it falls within the studs because otherwise your edges will not fall on the studs and you know you'd have somewhat of an ugly gap there. So that's why we use those specific spacings. I hope you like that small clip. If you're a student and having me come to your school for a lecture is something that you think you want, talk to your professors about it. And if you are a professor and you would like to invite me to come for a lecture, feel free to reach out to me for details. Before you go, please don't forget to like the video if in fact you liked it. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe. If you think anybody else would like any of the Archie Corner videos, please feel free to send them a link. But for now, this is it. This is Archie Corner signing out.